This is the Razer Ornata V3X keyboard. If you're looking for a budget RGB keyboard from a reputable name that's not gonna only complement your setup, but can also interact with other accessories which will enhance your experience, then this might be a choice for you. The Onata V3X keyboard is a budget version of the Onata V3, a low profile wired ergonomic gaming keyboard that's designed for both work and casual play. But despite it being on the budget side of the market, it still has some useful features that make it worth checking out. First thing you'll notice about the Razer Onata V3X is its ultra slim form factor, which makes it very comfortable to use on any desk. The keys are low profile, which means they have a shorter travel distance and a softer feel than regular mechanical switches, which in turn makes them quieter and more responsive which is great for gaming and typing. The keys are UV coated which should make them more durable and resistant to wear and tear and that fading that occurs on a lot of keyboards that have endured a lot of usage. And for those clumsy people out there, you know who you are. This keyboard has a spill resistant design that protects it from accidental spills and splashes. So if that's you, then this keyboard is made for you. Razer market this keyboard as silent, but you should be able to hear it through my microphone. While typing on this full size keyboard certainly isn't silent, but it's definitely a lot quieter than typing on a regular mechanical keyboard. While there is a relatively long travel distance before your input is processed while typing, if you're coming from one of those big bulk key keyboards, then you'll not notice it during casual gaming and general use. But you know what longer traveling distances mean? Less typos and incorrect inputs pressed. To fulfill its ergonomic credentials, you also get this detachable plastic wrist rest that's gonna provide extra support and comfort for you during those prolonged periods of either working or gaming. The rest doesn't actually attach to the keyboard at all, but it just simply sits in front of it. So if you find that you don't like the rest or it just simply doesn't work for you, then you can just simply remove it. And when you do have this accompanying your keyboard, you'll probably notice that the keyboard now takes up quite a bit of room on your desk compared to a regular keyboard. But what it takes away with that added space, it adds a nice touch to the overall ergonomics of the keyboard. And actually when using it, it's very comfortable and supportive. Considering when you do get this hard plastic accessory out of the box, you don't expect it to be comfortable but for my wrist position when using this keyboard it's ideal but anything that is going to help you avoid wrist fatigue during those long gaming sessions is definitely a good thing so despite its look that hard plastic shell thing it actually complements the low profile of the keyboard quite well. For most generic keyboards that space underneath the keys is usually enclosed and disguised within the frame of the keyboard itself but on this one the space left allows for those Razer Chroma RGB lights to be exposed. This keyboard has 16.8 million colors to choose from and you can customize them using the Razer sign up software so you can sync the lighting effects with other Razer devices and compatible games and apps. Check out my video up there on the Razer Leviathan V2X to see another Razer RGB product that syncs well with the Onata and some further coverage of the Razer Synapse app. So this keyboard has four lighting effects available, breathing, spectrum, static, and the audio meter. The lighting effects can add some flair and personality to the keyboard and they do look awesome in the dark. If you're not familiar where individual buttons are on the keyboard without actually having to look at them, then you'll have to make sure that the RGB lights are enabled as the key icon, if you're in the dark, is only visible when the keyboard is lit up. The Razer Ornata V3X also has some features that make it a great gaming keyboard. It has a gaming mode that you can disable the Windows key and other shortcuts that might interrupt your gameplay. So if you're prone to those accidental button presses, then you might wanna turn this setting on. Within the Razer Synapse app, you can enable Hypershift mode. That allows you to temporarily unlock a secondary set of functions on top of your existing button assignments, effectively doubling the number of customizable buttons on your keyboard. The only buttons you can't remap are the function key Keys at the top of the keyboard, which is where you'll find those hotkey enabled media functions. But within the hypershift mode, you can use it to remap to another key, enable a mouse function, have it interact with other Razer devices, switch lighting profiles, execute commands, control your multimedia, launch programs, and even write specific text when you press a key. Now for me, I've never really been a PC gamer, and the only games in the past that I've played, I prefer to use the arrow keys. So with this keyboard, I can remap the WASD keys to the arrow keys. 
But the best feature of the Razer Onata V3X is its price. It's a budget price, which means that it's gonna be a steal for a gaming keyboard. Slim, yes, silent, well, more quieter, and definitely ergonomic. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description below. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly, easy-to-use gaming keyboard that doesn't compromise on performance and comfort, that's designed for the casual gamer who probably is looking to upgrade from their standard keyboard without spending a lot, then the Razer Onata V3X could be the keyboard for you. Let me know in the comments what you think of this keyboard and if you're planning to get one. Don't forget to check out my video on the Razer Leviathan V2X soundbar if you're looking for a budget sound option, also from Razer, that will perfectly go with this keyboard. Thanks for watching, press that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this and I'll see you in the next one.